time. Three to five decor. Who wants a West Am planter? You? How about you? How about you, Miss Shanna K? Yeah, I see you in the comments. Appreciate ya. Um, first, like and subscribe to Redefine Decor, this channel. Then, comment below and let a woman know if you know anyone who's reselling one of those West Am planters. I mean like on a low, low price, like eBay low, because I want one. I want a West Am planter. Um, but I don't see myself willing to pay $130 on something I literally gonna put in dirt and put it outside. Um, <laughs> but I am willing to spend some funds on an inspired West Elm planter. And that's exactly what I do in this video. This video, I recreate a inspired West Elm planter for the low, and it turns out beautiful, wonderful. <laughs> in addition, I also create three more DIYs, a planter, a, DIY, um, a plant stand, and a cute vase. And I'm gonna tell you, three out of the four DIYs turned out wonderful. Like, you're gonna love it, you're gonna be inspired, you're gonna wanna do it yourself. And then the other one, some may describe it as being unique or having character, but come watch. The West Elm Inspire Planter is very simple and doesn't require a lot of materials. All I'm using is this trash can from Walmart, some spray paint in satin peacock blue, and then this planter over here from Lodes. And that is literally it for this project. I use a medium grit sander on the trash can to help the spray paint adhere. This also creates a mimic texture of the planter. The trash can and the planter is now spray painted. I did do two coats for each and I love how the color turned out. Even though they're both different mediums, they still look the same. They still have a nice satin shine to them. Okay, so the next part and the finishing part, final part, is just to hot glue the base, well the planter. I turned the planter upside down, oops, <laughs> you didn't see that. So the planter's supposed to be this way, I'm turning it this way and then just gluing it, gluing, holding it down. I'm probably going to put some weight in it to make sure that it's fixed. Okay. My next DIY is a terrazzo planter. I feel like terrazzo is everywhere. It's back again. Some may argue it never was gone. I would argue against that. <laughs> anyway, this terrazzo planter is gonna be nothing like you've seen before. I feel like you can go to tar Target and probably get a terrazzo planter, which is probably gonna be like painted white with splattered abstract colors on it, which is probably cute. I'm not gonna argue like Target never goes wrong. It's probably cute, but this terrazzo planter is gonna be elegant, unique, natural, rough around the edges. And this is what I think of when I think of terrazzo. So the first step, I'm taking that same small planter I got from Lowe's that was $3, and I'm dipping it in concrete and leaving it rough. Now, when it comes to coloring it, I didn't want to just go in with splattered paint. It kind of seems a little cheap. I wanted to create terrazzo paint chips. I'm creating my own. I've never done this before, but I think it's gonna work. Okay, so first I'm going to grab some aluminum foil. This thing that I got from Dollar Tree. Also some spackling I got from, Chop from Dollar Tree. And this is gonna be my base of my chips, the spackling. 
Now to add some color, I'm gonna grab some paint I got from Dollar Tree. Let's do that. Shameless plug, I refinished this dresser and it holds all of my redefined knickknacks. Go check out the video. Let's see what colors scream out Terezio. I'm thinking this deep green from Dollar Tree. I like this scarlet red. Yellow, oxidized, definitely gonna try that in there. And then maybe some black, let's do black. Quick interruption, look at all the paint at Dollar Tree. They got black, they got white. What do you want? Purple? They have it. Have ever seen those like folding ice creams? Like they lay out cream and they add different toppings. This is the same method. So I'm laying out speckling paint. Squirt it in there and then mixing it all up. Look how bright that coloring is. Look how, look how nice and pigment it is for Dollar Tree paint. This is really good paint. Really high pigment. I wasn't expecting it to be that great. Okay. I thinned it out, and in theory, once this dries, I should be able to break it up and then throw it on top of my concrete, and that's gonna make my terrazzo paint. If it doesn't work, I always got some paint and I'll just splatter on and be a hypocrite. Okay, I had some more colors to mix. Let's get to this. Okay, and now with this cool cement planter, it's time to start decorating and the paint chips we created earlier are dry. So now I'm just going to apply some Mod Podge to, directly to the planter, um, put it on lightly with a brush from Dollar Tree as you know, take pieces of it and then just stick it on there. I've already tested it out and it's working, so I'm gonna continue doing it. If you want, if you're brave, you probably could take, you probably could cover this thing with Mod Podge, take pieces of the um, paint chips and then just roll it on there and have it super organic, super, you know, cool and abstract. Okay, it's time for me to start gluing. With more pieces, you can really tell it's coming together, getting an idea of how it's going to look. I am going to cover it all with Mod Podge as a coating on top of it to give it a nice shine. I did big pieces first and then went in with little tiny pieces. And here it is. This thing is so ugly that it's like high and chic. It's beautiful and it fits in every setting, like every setting. I'm taking this vase, which I got from the thrift store. So my Dollar Tree paint, as well as baking soda I got from Dollar Tree. And this drinking bowl, yes again, I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, I'm gonna take my acrylic paint, put some baking soda in it, and then put it on the vase to give it texture to it. This vase already has some really cool lines, so I'm hoping the texture just really brings that out. Let's give it a try. Look, I hope you don't go taking this the wrong way. Life is a bitch and we ain't gonna date 
I just know I could be doing it better I don't need nothing to get in my way I'm feeling good, feeling great, I'm fantastic I'm feeling fine, man, I thank you for asking Neither it's money or fate that gets put on your plate I ain't eating no paper or plastic I was the one that was egging your house I was the one getting chased by the cops I was the runner that pack a ways up in the back I ain't care if you like me I'm adding eco parts baking soda and remember this isn't baking only baking soda there's no substitutants just baking soda I'm not sorry I'm not sorry I'm adding a dash of Mod Pod to aid adhesing to the glass I'm not sorry Well I'm gonna just sit on the beach drinking my hand Knowing the rest got their head in the sand Chill for the day, ain't making no plan And we could take off for a bit Ain't got a land One coat done I probably have two more coats But that's why it's great to have this in a container that has a lid I can store it and use it for later Three coats later To the cement from the prior project I threw a towel in and I'm getting it nice and wet and just covering the towel in cement the attempt is to make a vase out of cement using a towel which I've seen before something like this I'm putting the towel over the bucket to make the shape of the bottom of the vase adding some water bottles to make a cool shape at the end of it, like octopus legs, similar to this. And that's it. I'm gonna let it dry overnight and see what happens. Forty-eight hours later, trying to remove the towel from the bucket and it was too soft and would not work. So I tried to be creative and <laughs> I threw the towel back on the bucket and add a nice rustic rope. And this is how it turned out. Not planned, but still cute. And that finishes up this video. Please comment below. I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. For my viewpoint, three out of the four turned out great. The last one, I don't know. Like, let me think of it like more metaphorically um, and try to be poetic. It was a physical symbol, like symbolism of life. You know, it didn't come out as I planned. It's not what I expected out of it, but I made it work with the things I had around it. And maybe that's why it's my favorite one now, thinking about it, because it's beautiful in its own right. It's a bunch of struggle and me mess and chaotic. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Have a great day, and don't forget to redefine your moment. Bye.